I reckon this could be explosive, Spencer, from mm -hmm. the first bell. I'm delighted to see Kel Brook joins us live this lunchtime. Kel, how are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. Hey, Kel, you're coming over loud and clear. Simon's with me, so too is Spencer. Uh, how are the preparations going, my friend? Yeah, I'm putting that work in. Um, mm. My mojo's come back, obviously, for this fight. I'm, I'm really up for this fight. I've got the bit between the teeth. And I'm grafting my backside off every single day. Yeah, so it's, it's a massive fight for you, this one, Kel, isn't it? This is more about bragging rights than anything, isn't it? Like legacy, like being remembered, you know, two British fighters. You yes. both you both had great careers. A lot of people are saying, you know, this fight's five five years too late, but everyone's going to watch it and everyone's going to want to watch it. And and I suppose you get a bigger drive, you know, knowing that you're fighting Amory Khan at this stage of your career. You must be up there and grafting, mate, because I've seen your weights down already, by the way. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I love it. And, uh, you know, they're saying that it would pass it sell by there, but it sell out in 10 minutes flat. You know what I mean? So, like, it shows you that everybody's excited. They could see, you know, this, re this real dislike between me mm. and him at the first press conference. And, you know what I mean? I can, I can see... Uh, you know, I see it being a very exciting fight. You know, I, I, actually, Kel, why why do you not like him? I just don't, you know, just for the fact that it's, uh, you know, fighters, when they see each other, you know, they keep each other respect for what they've done in the game. You know, he's always looked down at me. He's never given me my fair due. He's never given me that respect. He's never given the fans this fight until he's backed into the corner at this final hour. I mean, to this is a fight that you've been chasing, Kel. I know you've been chasing this for years, since it was first announced, maybe 10 years ago. Like, this is a fight you've always wanted, and he's never wanted, has he? It's a fight that he's sort of, always sort of gone away from. Why do you think he's accepted it now? I just think that he probably needs a few quid, doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but the, uh, I think, who knows, maybe he thinks that, you know, maybe my last fight, he, he probably thinks, you know, I can I can deal with him now maybe I don't know but it just pisses me off that he um, you know he's always said it's it's my fault that the fight's never happened but we all know that it's always been him you know and I think that you know that's clear I just I just can't wait obviously to uh, to show the boxing the boxing world that. I'm coming to, to take to take you that off for well, you the best. Yeah, Mr. Jordan here is a student of your sport. What do you think, Simon? Amir Khan will bring on the night that might trouble Kel. Speed. I think he's a better fighter than Kel. I think Kel's an outstanding fighter, and I, I watched him against Sean Porter. I thought it was an outstanding victory when he beat him in America. But I think their careers have been on different trajectories. Sports about opinions. By no mean am I being dis by no way am I being disrespectful to Kel Brook. But if you're asking me who I think wins this fight, not, not you and about yeah. Well, it's an it's an opinion, Kel, isn't it? And and we'll see, won't we? And when I'm wrong, as you we'll will see. believe I will be, then I'll be the first person to say you were right and I was so, wrong. So Amir, Amir Khan's got speed or oh, great. Yeah, what, what, and speed and think, speed kills at times, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah speed's not enough though. I don't no, I, I think I, I think if 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 he fights anywhere very, vaguely resembling the way he fought Devin Alexander, I think he'll beat Kel. Yeah, if he doesn't, long... sure. And it was a long time ago long time that ago. Kel was at his know, best but, as well. But, well, let let, let you know, Kel come back. Kel, come back at that. No, I will come back at that. Styles mate fights. Devin Alexander were a south boy. We're a different kettle of fish to me you know what i mean and i think that time and beat speed i've seen every style there is and you know he's not to bring nothing t to me and uh you can you obviously I, it's not to take me yeah don't that, don't get me wrong he's got very he's got the fastest hands that i've ever been in the ring where he's got extremely fast hands but like i said time and beat speed and um you know, I can time in. I've got a great jab and I've got a great boxing brain, so and I'm really up for this one. So yeah, do, do you not think he will be find... the same, Kel, as well? Do you not he, think will he... The, he will be the same. Of course he will be yeah. the same. But that's your opinion. That's yeah, exactly. Your, and it will be proven to be right or wrong opinion, on the night, won't it? You're going to be wrong. Mm. You're going to yeah. be wrong, obviously. So I'm, I'm sort of, I'm with you, Kel, as in I think that their their careers have run parallels, really. That, that you know they won world titles at similar times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're still going. Yeah, but Spencer, one I, thing you could say is that in Kel's favour, Kel can take a punch, no, whereas Can can't. I've I've said from day one that Kel wins the fight anyway, and I, and I still believe that Kel wins the fight, even at this stage of their careers. I think that speed's not enough. I think that Amir Khan runs out of ideas after two or three rounds. He does exactly the same stuff. Kel's boxing IQ is better. His timing's better, and I still and. And his punch but, but, resistance but, but is better, respect. and his punch power. Again, again with all respect. those elements against speed, 
Kelbrook wins. I, I get you, but again, with respect, and it's not in any shape or form denigrating Kel Brook, because I've just turned around and said to you he's an outstanding fighter. Kel, I'm talking about you now. But also Marcus Medina is a puncher as well, and Khan's been on the receiving end of him. If Khan is anywhere near what I think he is in my mind's eye, mm. I think he beats Kel. If he's not then by all means, I'll, I'll be happy to suggest that Kel will walk past him. But I just think it's a fascinating fight. And what the, int the intriguing thing is, is what they both bring to the, to the ring. Mm -hmm. I felt, I felt, I've always felt that Kel was marginalised. I don't think he got the attention and the media attention that he should have got. And I think that probably burns his backside. Neil, tell us in a second if I'm right. Because I think Khan got a lot of media attention and, and broke America and got a lot of attention for the fights that he had. And, yeah. and, and Kel didn't get the same thing. Well, Kel, uh, yeah, one thing I know about you, my friend, is you love proving your doubters wrong. And you've done that throughout your career. You're going to do it again. I am going to do it again. And that, it just makes me smile that his opinion is obviously with Khan and many others out there are the same. So that's what mm. that's what draws this fight to be so great. You know, what I mean, everyone's got a split split opinion on it, and uh, you know, everyone's gonna everyone's gonna be having the popcorn there ready for that first. Exactly. And listen, <laughs> the it, it, was, it was the fastest selling fight. I know. It, sorry, it, twenty in minutes. British boxing history. Twenty yeah, minutes. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, there's a lot. You're wrong there again. It's ten, ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Was it ten minutes? Yeah. Fantastic, Kel. Kel, dare you consider what your next step might be should you lose? I don't want to think about losing, but you know, I think if 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 I'd, if we have to bring that up, and I, even though it's like I can't get that in my head that I'm going to lose, but it'd be, I'd call it a draw or end of end of the boxing to be on go. And where does it but, lead, Kel? Um, in your mind, when you win, where does it lead? You know, yeah. I think that. My mojo is back. I'm, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm enjoying training. I've, I'm obviously every, everybody and the dogs talking about it, and um, yeah. you know, and um, I'm just I'm just excited. So you know, who knows? You know, when I get to that point, you know, I know that kind of kind of Ben's banging the drum for some big fights, and mm. you know, I can, I can show the the young pup. You know what? I'm, I'm still. <laughs> well, well Kel, still one of one of many listeners is asking the same question. Ask uh, Jim. Ask Kel. Would he fancy taking on Connor Ben if he beats Can? Yeah, you know, absolutely. This is this is why we love the sport. I love a challenge. You know, he looked fantastic, sensational in his last fight against Algerian. You know, he he knows we've shared, you know we've sparred together. So you know, he's he's and we're very very good friends as well. But obviously, this is a sport. It's uh, it's it's going out there to prove that to the boxing fans who pay and watchers that you know that you believe that you're, that you're best. And I think it'd be a fantastic match with me and Ben. Kel, I know this uh, probably got in the way of your training schedule today, and I, I really do mean this sincerely. Thank you for joining us live this lunchtime. What what's the plan over Christmas and uh, New Year, my friend? Well, the plan is cancel and New Year's cancel for me. Mm. Cancelled. I'm actually in Fort Ventura now. In the sunshine, training, training away, you know, um, people don't see this part of it. The fans, you know, t speaking to my daughters and you know, telling them that, you know, I'm not gonna be there. You know, it's, it is hard, but obviously, I wanna, I wanna make sure that I, I beat, I beat this guy. Mm. Um, so I'm putting everything in. You know, I'm taking myself away out my comfort zone, around my loved ones, and and I'm grafting out in in Fort Ventura. And Kel, is this fight is made at a catch weight? That's right, isn't it? Uh, uh, one four nine or something? Is it one four nine? It's one four nine. And yeah. and also read reports today that if anyone that comes in every pound over the weight that you come in gets fined a six figure sum. Is that Ooh. right? That's right. Yeah. Wow. Every ounce over is ten thousand. Wow. <laughs> why? Why is that, Kel? Is there an expectation that people aren't going to be shot? Aren't going to make the no, way? No, he's obviously, you know, he's obviously seen, read the media. He's obviously wanting to think he's going to get an advantage that you know, killing me down at end, these weights. That I'm right. Not be, right. I'm not. I'm not going to be full hundred percent in the fight, but you know, we're making we're making sure that we get the weight down and we and we get healthy and we're in there hundred percent on fight night. Kel, thank you for joining us live in TalkSport. Get back to your schedule over there in Fuerteventura. And thank you so much, mate, for taking time out. Thanks, Jim. All the best to him. Kel Brook with us live. Only you could come in and say Can's going to win it. That's what I think. What do you want me to say? No, no I, I, I don't see it. You're I right. don't see it. Right. I don't see it. Yeah, you speak your mind, Simon, and we love you for that. I'd love that. Uh, if Brook wins, it'd be great to get Brook and Jordan in the ring, wouldn't it? Uh, Kel, no, oh, I'd pay tickets no, for that. No, if Kel, think, if Kel wins, fair play to him. I'll be yeah. wrong. Yeah. No, but Simon's right in what he says. Listen, an opinion's an opinion, and, and that's why the sport is as great as it is. Of course it everyone's is. Everyone's got one. And, of course. And, and that was a valid, you know, Simon had a valid reason for that.
Yeah, that's right. Kel's just texted me asking me for your mobile number. <laughs> he's and, he's and busy. He's home address. He's in Port Just ask him. He's in Port of Ventura. Ask him to call Derek Tesora. He's got it, probably. Yeah, oh, Derek's got, got it. There's another one you've uh, you come to, to, come to blow, <laughs> verbal blows with. Uh, stay with us. Josh Taylor on the way. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.